in this video we're going to be looking at solving equations. Um, we looked at one step equations before, so we'll look at a few um, equations that are a little bit more complicated and involve a few more steps. Right, let's look at this one. Right, 2x plus 7 equals 11. So when we work with these questions, we need to look at getting x by itself. So we're trying to get the variable or the pronumeral by itself. So we look at, okay, what's the first thing that we've done to the x? So we've got x over here. The first thing that we've actually done to it is we've multiplied it by 2. We have then added 7 to that expression. So what we need to do when we solve is we need to work backwards. We need to do the inverse operation. So we're trying to get x by itself. We're peeling back the layers one at a time to get x by itself. So the first thing I need to get rid of is the plus 7 because we need to work backwards. When I move a plus 7 over, it becomes a take 7. So I've got left 2x equals 11 take 7. And that gives me 2x equals 4. The last thing I need to get rid of is that 2 times x, the opposite of times is divide. So when it moves over to the other side, it will give me divided by 2, which means x equals 2. Let's check my answer by substituting in. So if I put my answer into the original question, 2 times x, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 7 is 11, so that means it is correct. Let's look at another question. So 7x take 5 is 16. Again, moving everything over one by one, you can do bim dust backwards or think about what you've done to the x. First thing we've done to that x there, we started with x, we then multiplied that x by 7, and that whole expression then subtracted 5. So now we need to work backwards. Let's move everything over one at a time. So 7x is going to give me 21. The next thing I need to get rid of is this 7. 7 times x opposite of times is divide. So when it moves over, x equals 21 divided by 7, which gives me x is 3. Last step, always check our answer. If I put x into there, 7 times 3 is 21, 21 takes 5 is 16. So that's correct. All right, let's get to some equations that look a bit different. Okay, same with this one. If we don't know where to start, let's look at x. We started off with x. The first thing that we've done to it is divided by 4. Then that x divided by 4 expression, we then subtracted 3 from that. So we know I need to work backwards. I know I need to start off with that negative 3. So if I move that negative 3 over, I'm left with x on 4 equals... 7 plus 3, so x on 4 will equal to 10. Alright, my last step is to get rid of that 4. Divide 4 becomes a times 4. So x equals to 40. Let's check. If I put 40 into there, 40 divided by 4 is 10, 10 take away 3 is 7, so that means that our answer must be correct. Let's look at another question. Okay, when you deal with a question like this, leave the x or the unknown where it is and then work from there. So again, let's check what we've done. So when the x started by itself, the first thing that happened is we actually multiplied it by a negative 2. After that, we added 5 to that expression. So we know what order we need to, I guess, get rid of things to peel back the layers. So if we get rid of that 5, what we've got left is a negative 2x. We move the 5 over. That 5 is a positive 5. So it will become a negative 5 there. So we've got negative 2x equals 12 take 5, which is 7. The next thing we need to get rid of is the negative 2. And 
we saw here that we multiplied. So the opposite of multiply is divide. So my answer is seven divided by negative two, or I could also leave it as a decimal, negative 3.5. Let's check our answer. Let's put negative 3.5 to there. Negative two times negative 3.5 is a positive seven. Seven plus five is 12, so I know that my answer is correct. So when you're dealing with negatives, if your pronoun or your variable is negative, just leave it alone and leave your answer as a fraction or decimal if it is not a whole number. All right, so let's go with two x one three plus five. Um, what are we, let's make that seven. Okay, if you need to, write down what the first thing was that happened to it. We started with x. Now, you could actually say that you multiplied by 2 or you could say you divided by 2 first. It actually doesn't matter. But as long as you can recognise that your last step is that you added 5 to that expression. So you know that you're working backwards. So first thing I need to get rid of. Now, it doesn't actually matter which one you do first here, as um, we mentioned in this session. So I'm going to times first, which means I'm moving that 3 over. My last step. Finding by 2, so x equals 3. Let's check. So if I said that x is equal to 3, I'm putting 3 into here. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 plus 5 is 7, so my answer must be correct. Now, when you do this, you don't actually have to show every single line of working. You don't need to show all of that. You just need to make sure you're moving over or doing the inverse operation properly and that you show your final answer as to what your unknown is. So you're solving the equation. All right, last one. All right, let's say if we have 2x plus 4 or 9, I'm going to make that equal to 6. All right, if you need to do your working out the side to see what was done first, we can do that. We started off with x. The first thing we did to it, in case people are wondering, well, how come we didn't add 4 to it first? Well, if we added 4 to it, it would look like this. And then if we multiplied 2, we would actually multiply the whole thing by 2. So it actually looks very different. So we need to make sure we're doing that bit correctly. So the first thing we did to it is we multiplied it by 2. Then we added the 4, and then the whole expression we divided by 9. So that gives us an idea of what we need to move over first. So if we move the 9 over, we've got 2x plus 4 equals to 2 times 9. So you could skip that step. And just write that straight away, that's fine. So therefore, x will equal to 7. So let's check this. If I put 7 into here, 2 times 7 is 14. 14 plus 4 is 18. 18 divided by 9 is 2, so my answer is correct.